In this session, we're going to demonstrate how to use the object generator to copy instances of a predefined object to other scoped objects in your assembly. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the bolt pattern of the pipe connection we see here, and we're going to create a bolt pretension on one bolt and then use the object generator to copy that definition around to the other bolts in the pattern. So first we're going to select the bolts in the group only. And to do that, we actually have a predefined name selection. We're going to select that name bolt and then show only those bodies in the group. And next we're going to find a bolt pretension on one bolt in the group. So to do that, we're going to select the corresponding cylinder of the bolt to apply that bolt pretension to. And then we're going to select our static structural environment and under loads and bolt pretension, we then simply click on that to insert it into the tree. To set up that definition in our first time step, you can see we have two steps here, our first and second. We want to actually apply the load in the first step and then lock it in the second. So with the first step selected, we're going to type in our value. In this case, it's 50,000 pounds for our bolt preload. And for our second step, we can simply click on the bar in the graph to change the time step. We're going to lock it. Now we can also actually make these settings over in the tabular data. So you can modify that load in the table under preload and the second step, you can click in to select the lock. It's exactly the same thing, either doing it over in the details or in the tabular data. Once we have that definition, we can then move on to select all of the corresponding faces of all the bolts in the pattern so that we can make our copying via the object generator. So to do that, I'm going to reorient the bolt pattern. I'm going to select my box select and then select all the cylindrical faces that I want to copy that object instance about. We then move up to the toolbar and you can see this is the object generator button. We're going to make that active. And this is the tool we're going to use to again copy that instance of the bolt pretension object around to the other bolt. You can see there's a few different options we have with the object generator. We can generate from the current selection, which is the current selection you have on the screen, or we can actually use predefined name selections. In this case, the current selection is what we want. There's also the option to scope to uh, different uh, options. In this case, we can scope to each entity that we have selected. We can have adjacent entities, this is used for if you've got multiple selections on a given part. For example, if you've got a pressure or a force that's over more than one face on a part, it'll scope to each of those adjacent entities per part, or all the entities given are selected on a given part. In this case, the adjacent entities is just fine. And something else you'll notice is that at the very top, where we have our first instance to define, uh, that's also included in this selection. So we want to make sure we have the ignore original uh, checked because we don't want to duplicate that uh, definition. So all we need to do now is click generate to create that bolt pattern. I should mention that we could apply a name prefix to that as well or apply a tag. So now we can just click generate to copy that bolt pattern around. We'll look into the tree. You can see here now we have generated 12 bolt pretensions. I can use random colors to distinguish each individual definition. And if I look at the first step, you can see that they all do have the same definition of 50,000 pounds. And the second step, they're all locked. 